Nine families remain out of their homes on Sekin First Nation while officials assess the damage to flooded properties. Extreme winds and high water levels from the Winnipeg River forced the evacuation of 52 people Wednesday night. I haven't seen anything like this in my life. Uh, I have seen similar uh, storms uh, to some capacity, but never have I seen it this strong. By Thursday afternoon, the water had receded in most areas. However, several homes were still surrounded by water. Marilyn Crochane's home, where she has lived for the past 23 years, was one of the worst hit. The water was starting to come up, come up on the yards, and then it didn't take too long. About 45 minutes later, it was about two feet high. And then another 45 minutes, it was like right right up uh, against the foundations, passing the foundations onto the homes. The cost of food and shelter for the evacuated families is being taken care of by the band, and Edwards said they will be reimbursed by the province's emergency measures organization. The next step is to um, evaluate and inspect uh, everybody's property, everybody's homes, and see how many families can go home and see how many families that still have to stay at the paper town. It might take weeks or even months to repair some of the homes affected by the flood. For the Winnipeg Sun, I'm Jillian Austin.